Smart sports betting can be a very lucrative additional income stream. Over the years, many bettors have tried to find ways to create the perfect prediction algorithm in a way that would help lead to sustainable and consistent profits in the sports markets. However, it's not particularly fun building a sports betting algorithm, and it can take hours upon hours of data entry, spreadsheet management, database creation, and dozens of tests. You can do this all with no guarantee of winning. Even slight errors in models can result in making minus EV bets over an extended period of time simply due to misinformation in the model itself. But if you have a real passion for sports betting, it really can be an incredibly rewarding, profitable and fun experience. The goal is to find an edge and make plus EV plays over an extended period of time. But as the sports markets become sharper and more information becomes readily available, this is becoming harder. Creating an algorithm requires a lot of math knowledge, some knowledge of a specific tool or software like Excel etc, preparation and data. There are formulas that organise and aid in evaluating data in order to fix complex problems or answer the complicated questions. When designed and successful, they take a lot of pressure off our hands as they are designed solely to help solve the outcomes of the sporting events based on the data provided about the team statistics, player data and more. But remember, simply adding basic data like team stats or individual player power ratings isn't going to be enough to make a profit. The markets and odds are too sharp for a basic level of analysis to work. Some sports betting algorithms deal with data this data of which can easily be found by the public online. You can thank this to its vast amounts of information on sports, sports betting online, and all the information available on teams and players. This is important because the algorithm might rely on data about winning percentages, reception, rushing yards, and more. There are dozens of available tools you can find easily online which are accessible with a simple Google search. Using this data and information will significantly improve the results you are able to achieve. You can also invest in some data scraping software as this will allow you to scrape data from websites straight into a spreadsheet. Learning how to do this will save you a lot of time. The easiest and most accessible way of tracking data would be through Microsoft Excel. So to sum up, algorithms are always a lot more accurate when you allow them to see the different points to collect. So creating sports betting algorithms basically involves collecting available public information and combining that information with current technology. But in order to do this, it requires exceptional skills in coding, data wrangling and learning statistics. But the main problem comes from using and weighing this data in the correct way. That's what takes time to learn and what will make the difference between a very generic model and one that can be profitable for the foreseeable future. While there are upsides, there are also cons. A large factor to success as a sports investor is money management. Even if you had an edge on your bets long term, just because of the bad money management, you could still end up broke. So what that means is that if you're using correct money management with an edge on your bets long term, you could turn an insane amount of profit. Also, algorithms help with the human error and take emotion out of the equation, so there is no bias. With a winning sports betting strategy combined with a profitable algorithm, you're going to be making large profits over time. The whole point behind a sports betting system is that it has its checks and balances that basically make it profitable under almost any condition. This means once you nail your strategy, you can start winning big and pressing down those bets. Some types of algorithmic tools you can use are Kelly Criterion, Margin Calculator, Odds Converters, the list goes on. Kelly Criterion is a money management formula that calculates the optimal amount you should bet when there's a difference between the true odds and the given odds. Sports betting systems are a great way to add structure to your sports betting and provide an emotion-free way of profiting over time. Developing those systems can be extremely rewarding but require a lot of expertise if you don't want to waste your time. As we stated, creating a sports algorithm is incredibly hard and time consuming. So if you don't want to waste too much time doing that yourself, you can head on to our website as we've created four tools that are free to use and you can experiment with right now. Limiting yourself to just one tool or algorithm can and probably will hurt your progress in the long run. So the best way forward is to use a combination of tools. This will help you understand the value of your bets, which in turn will aid developing a strong sports algorithm. So let's take a look at our tools.
We feature a bet calculator, which automatically calculates your payout, making it easy to see your returns. You can use it as a point spread calculator, money line calculator, and odds for other markets. Simply select the odds format and enter the stake and odds. The bet calculator will then automatically calculate the payout. We also have an odd calculator that can easily convert between American odds, decimal odds, and fractional odds. Enter any of the three and the formats will be calculated for you hassle-free. We feature a margin calculator that will tell you how much your bookmarker is charging you. Simply type in your odds for your preferred odds format and it will calculate your bookmarker's margin. And finally, a minus one run line calculator. The money line and run line are bets that most sportsbooks offer on MLB matches. However, not many have the minus one run line available and the ones that do will most likely charge a premium. Betting on a team to win straight up is the money line. The run line is where the team you bet on must win by more than a single run. If they win by just one run, you lose the bet. The minus one run line bet is different. It wins if your team wins by more than a single run, but does not lose if they win by one run. Instead, it will push, refunding you your original stake. Well guys, that's the video for today. We hope we helped you get a better understanding of sports algorithms and why using a combination of all the tools available would be the best way forward. If you have any other suggestions, drop them down in the comments below. For any questions, you can hit us up on Twitter or send us an email. For more actionable sports advice, visit us at www.ghostbettingtips.com and all these links will be in the description. We hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.